Let's talk about something in Back to the Future that's always bugged me. If you've seen this cinematic adventure, you know it takes exactly 1.21 gigawatts of electricity to power Doc Brown's time-traveling DeLorean. And as an engineer, I've always taken issue with Doc Brown's pronunciation of a gigawatt. I mean, what exactly is a gigawatt? Doesn't he mean gigawatt? I wonder where Doc Brown would stand on the whole GIF versus GIF debate. Anyways, back to the gigawatt. I mean, how much power does it actually take to travel through time? Let's put that into perspective. Believe it or not, the US Department of Energy has an excellent article dedicated to the gigawatt with easy to understand examples of how much power is equal to one gigawatt. And that's great and all, but that's not gonna help me get back to the past when I've run out of plutonium. I'm gonna need a backup plan. So other than that bolt of lightning, what can I use? Of all the given examples, the most feasible seems to be utility scale wind turbines. 441 to be exact. Lucky for us, one of the largest wind farms in the United States is located in Altamont Pass, California. With Altamont Pass and the fictional town of Hill Valley both being located in Northern California, I'd say that's your fastest and safest bet to get back home. But there's only one problem. Despite its 4,900 operational wind turbines, the nameplate capacity of this wind farm is only 576 megawatts, half of what we need under optimum conditions. So if my calculations are correct, you may have to wait for that bolt of lightning after all. 